Hey guys, so here's a new problem that I encountered. Um, so I've got some videos uh, shared by someone with me. So if I go to my drive, I can see those videos here. However, when I try to play the video, it just keeps rotating and probably it'll come over the first screen and just stays there. It doesn't move any further. So you can see that it's buffering. It, it continues to buffer, but uh, it doesn't play at all. As we saw that I was not able to play some of the videos that are shared on Google Drive, uh, I found that there are a couple of things that I could do uh, to solve it while doing my research. And uh, I'll just show how to do that. So number one was to uh, disable third party cookies. Then uh, there is a setting for uh, hardware acceleration if available, use that. Uh, so we need to disable that as well. Uh, and then uh, I just stumbled upon something called as uh, Chrome Canary. So it seems that Chrome Canary is a build of Chrome, which is kind of a, a pre-version of it. So all fixes, everything is on it. And once it goes uh, good, uh, the fixes is then applied to the public version of Google Chrome. So if you have certain problems that, that are not working out on Google Chrome, you may just go ahead and download Google Canary and uh, try using uh, that browser to see if your problem comes up there as well. Probably it will not come and uh, then you'll hope that soon there is a fix available as it's working on Canary. So I'll show you a couple of things. So you could go to uh, settings on Chrome look for cookies content settings cookies and block third-party cookies if this is enabled you'll have challenges in playing videos on Google Drive so have it disabled there uh, the other thing is uh, under advanced so if you are gonna come in settings just scroll down, go to advanced, and uh, well, I'm bad at reading and finding items. I'll just search for it. Uh, hardware, there you go. So use hardware acceleration when available. Again, if it is selected, uh, there are a lot of forums that are talking about where they suggest you to disable it. I've disabled it, so I've, I did these two things, uh, and then I was able to play my videos. Uh, apart from that, if you look at the screen, the orange icon for Google Chrome, that's Google Ca Chrome Canary. Uh, and uh, that's where I first tried the video. So I'm playing the video here and uh, just take a look. It works here. View data from this album. You already trained a model, so you need to. Right, so the video is working out here. Same if, uh, so let's go back to my Google Chrome, the normal one. So large file takes little time to load up, around two, two hour of video. So we were out. I don't know if the sound is getting recorded from the video, but you could see the... Okay, testing is also another phase of machine learning algorithm where... So here you this is how we use machine learning algorithms to make regression right, problems so or to make classification problems. Yeah, so a bit about uh, Google Chrome Canary. So, hmm, wow. Brilliant typing, isn't it? Look at my notepad, so slim. Be like me. These are the versions that Google follow. <laughs> Unlike Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Vasco de Gamma, they are following stable Beta, Dev, and Canary. And after Canary, it's the uh, globally available or generally available uh, version of uh, Chrome. Uh, in general, any any product uh, goes through an Alpha release, a Beta release, a RTM release, and then a GA release. Uh, this is something interesting that I saw about uh, Google, that they have a stable release, uh, then they have a beta release, then they have a dev release, they have a canary release, 
and then a publicly available release something very interesting i'm def definitely going to read about it a little more and uh, hopefully maybe in the next uh, next uh, video i'm going to talk about it so stay tuned keep watching free stuff my name is ravi varma bye bye